And the 14-year-old suspect in that shooting at an elementary school in South Carolina is set to appear in court this morning as we learn more about recent trouble in his life. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is on the story again for us. Hi, Gabe. Good morning. Savannah, good morning. This is where that 14-year-old suspect is scheduled to be in court later today. Police say he shot and killed his own father before heading to that nearby elementary school and opening fire. According to a source close to his family, for years he had been bullied. Jacob's a beautiful little boy. This morning, prayers for six-year-old Jacob Hall, now on life support. God took a little boy and has touched our hearts. Shot in the leg, his family says he lost 75% of his blood and suffered a major brain injury. His older brother at one point overcome with grief. Nobody in this world deserves nothing like that to happen. Investigators are now looking into whether the accused 14-year-old shooter may have been bullied. A source close to his family tells NBC News he was being homeschooled after he brought a machete and a hatchet to his middle school earlier this year. His mother says our entire family is absolutely shocked and saddened by the senseless actions of our son. We experienced a, a very devastating and life-changing event. Fire Chief Billy McAdams and volunteer firefighter Jamie Brock rushed to Townville Elementary. The unarmed Brock wrestled the suspect to the ground while McAdams tended to the three wounded. No one teacher nor mother nor father ever wants to hear the words shooter and school. Allison Buchanan's son Gaines survived. When teacher Megan Hollinsworth, who was hit in the shoulder, rushed students inside and locked the doors, the third grader says he knew this was no practice drill. They told us to get in the bathrooms, which has never happened in a drill, so we started thinking it was real. We heard gunshots outside. The reunion with her son, overwhelming. Sure, Joy. I looked and I saw his sweet little face uh, peering off out of the bus window and he waved like this and I, I don't I don't have words uh, just relief. According to a source close to his family, the mother of the accused gunman visited him in jail late, late Thursday. She said it was overwhelming, telling him I'm very angry at what happened and don't understand it. But you're my son. Savannah. Oh, some really difficult times there. Gabe Gutierrez, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.